Okay, here we have our chord sheet. Now, uh, <clears throat> if you'll notice on the chord sheet, um, we have a verse, chorus, verse, 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 chorus, verse two, verse three. But the song's not gonna go that way. Um, typically we sing verse one, chorus, verse two, chorus, verse three, chorus. So what I'm gonna do, uh, you can either keep it this way and, and write something like this on the chord sheet for your musicians. Let's go um, and call this the road map. And, and we're gonna go like verse one, one, chorus, verse two, chorus, verse three, chorus. And musicians actually can follow that pretty well. Um, that works. Um, for now, we'll do that. If we have to write out our own chord sheet, we can actually write out everything in longhand and give them three pieces of paper. On one page would be verse one in the chorus. On the second page would be verse two in the chorus. And on the third page would be verse three in the chorus. That way they can follow it just like they're reading the book. They can follow the music from start to finish exactly how the praise leader wants it. I found that that's the most effective method. It, it eliminates hours and hours of confusion and your musician saying, hey, what's the order of the song again? You don't want to mess up the order. Come Sunday morning, when you're leading hundreds, possibly thousands of people in worship, you want it to be very obvious what is the order of the song. The best way to do that is to just let them scroll from top to bottom or from left to right and just let them scroll all the way through the song and they'll follow it along.